Hey guys, Supercoach God here, and today we are looking at Rookie Watch. Rookie Watch has returned. I'm excited for this. I mean, it's been a long time. So we had Who Do We Trade yesterday, which we'll do week to week, and Rookie Watch has returned, which we might not do it every week. We'll do it probably one every two weeks, maybe two out of three weeks, but it's returned. And this is where we look at the rookies. This is where the real stuff happens. The Your cash gen. And how are we going to do that? I'll tell you how right now. So, firstly, we're going for a break even down. So, actually, we'll set it up so that it's um, this. We'll break even. So, we can see how many people have brought him into the side and so what. Um, so, firstly, Blake Howes. So, he is... 54% owned, he round change of 6.5%. So 10,000 people have brought him. He is an absolute must-have. You need, especially with Gibkus and Reed going down, you need to get Blake Howes into your team. It's non-negotiable. You don't, you're, you, you're done. You're done. As simple as that. Um, but yeah, I think that's all you have to say about him. Just get him in. If you don't have him, just get him in. Thomas Berry. So... I think I'm not going to get Thomas Berry. I'm going to have to miss out. And last time I missed out on a player who had an 100 in his cycle um, was Kieran Briggs last year. And oh, what a mistake that was. But we don't learn on the Supercoach God channel. We don't, we don't learn. So we're going again. Thomas Berry is not getting picked in my side. I just don't have the... My forward rookies are good. I don't I don't need to change anything. I'm already putting Flanders up into the mids. I, I I can't mess up my structure that much. So yeah. Tom Berry, unfortunately, you're not coming to the side. Is he a good pick? Yes, he is a good pick. Don't if I'm just saying I'm not picking him, don't um make that your thought process. So he's obviously um, playing a bit higher up forward, a bit of a Chandler role, which scares me for not picking him. But yeah, I think Tom Berry uh, is a good pick to bring in this week. So he just has a bit of that price as well, which is annoying. Jack Carroll. So if you don't have him, you don't bring him in this week. You bring him in next week. So you don't have. To, you can bring him in this this week, obviously, but I wouldn't worry about bringing him in this week this week uh alex sexton so you need this bloke if you don't have him you just absolutely need him as well he's gonna have spike games is it he's more important than having barry i'm telling you that much i'm telling you that right now um matt roberts um if you don't have him i don't know if you need to get him in but I've got him in. So I feel like on the mids, you can sacrifice a bit to get him in. You, you can you can make it work. Forwards are a bit different for me. So if you if forwards are difficult to bring in a rookie, bring in Matt Roberts if you haven't already. Aaron Cadman, uh, he's I started him, so I'm not what I'm not fussed about him. Uh, now, so he's he's going to be a good one for us, especially this week playing North North West Coast West Coast. This week playing West Coast can be good for us. Hopefully, he can kick a bag. If he kicks a bag, I'll be very, very happy. Uh, Jesse Hogan. Um, oh, sorry. Let me. Jesse Hogan. No, we're not. Let's get back to the. 200K. 210. There we go. All right. Sam Day Smith's not going to play. Uh, Charlie Dean, I probably wouldn't go near him. I wouldn't touch him. Uh, just because I think he's, as soon as Nathan Murphy comes back, pray it soon, he's going to come back. So I'm hoping for that in the next one, two weeks. So not picking Dean. Is he a viable option? If you have all the good rookies, then probably yes. But if you have all the good rookies, you're probably not looking to get in a rookie, are you? So, um, Ollie Dempsey, I'm waiting a week on him. Um... Uh, Seth Campbell wouldn't go near picking him. Uh, he averaged like 40, 30 in the VFL, so I wouldn't worry about that. 
Uh, Caleb Windsor, bit annoyed I didn't start him, but then again, I'm okay with not picking him. He's okay. Not, not uh, very depressed that I didn't pick him. Um, Jacob Weir, uh, glad I didn't start him. Mind you, probably would have been better than Clark, but hoping Clark can come good. Jeremy Sharp, very glad I brought him in last minute for Lazaro. Very good um, trade. It wasn't really a trade, it was it? It's just during the round I did it and very happy I did so. Bodie Uland, um, you don't need to get this bloke in at all, so don't worry about it. Uh, Harvey Thomas, no. Darcy Wilson, he got a 66, so... You need this bloke, but probably next week. Or you you don't actually need, but all the whole competition's got him. Answorth, uh don't worry about him. If he's still if he gets like an a hundred next week, you might have to think about him. But I think Dempsey's probably a better pick. Carl Warner got injured, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think he got injured. Um Marty Hoare, I'm bringing him in this week, and I don't, I probably shouldn't be, but it's either him or D'Ambrosio for me. So I don't want to take the punt on D'Ambrosio earlier than I do on Marty Hoare, uh, because Marty Hoare is proven. He's got to 400K before as a rookie, and no reason he can't really do it again is there. So Colby McKercher, he's, um, yeah, he's a must-have. You need to get him in. Uh, do you have to get him in this week? Probably not, but you need to get him in ASAP. Uh, Josh Gubkus, got to get him out. Um, Buku Karmas, did all right. Wouldn't be mad if you picked him as a starting pick. Nick Caulfield, yep, going to make us money. Harley Reid, yeah, you need him. Um, that's probably about it. I mean, Toby Pink did nothing. Callan Dawson had a really bad injury. That was scary. But yeah, that's there's not much to go off from uh, these rookies. Uh, obviously, it's early. It's round one. Some players have played two. That's why I'm posting it this week because I wouldn't have last week if uh, sorry I wouldn't have if it's just a normal round one and everyone's played one game. But considering some have played two, I thought I should make it because there's a lot of... It's Tom Berry who pe many people are like, oh, do I pick him? Do I not? Do I spend the money elsewhere? Um, but yeah, if you can get Tom Berry in, I, I suggest you do, but I'm... It messes up my structure way too much. I've already got the three forward rookies. Uh, not really willing to have four playing rookies for uh, mid-rookies in... Um, the midfield, I'd rather have three and one in the forward line. So, the, well, that that's pretty much the video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Tell me the rookies you're bringing this week. Tell me the rookies you have that, that you're really happy you picked. Um, and, yeah, obviously I went Husway to Carroll, which was a massive benefit for me um, because, yeah, I mean, he got in, he uh, not injured. He got uh, he didn't he didn't get picked. So that's the video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember to hit that subscribe button because something like thirty percent of you are subscribed. I don't know the exact number, but something like that. Um, and yeah, we got one. We only got one k subs. Like what? Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, we've already gained another seventy since then so we're we're doing really well so thank you for all the support um and i'll see you in the next one which will be tomorrow so hope you all have a good day and peace